How many power poles does it take to rebuild an island? We get anywhere from 20 to 50 truckloads of poles a day that are going out. This is a, a tremendous relief effort uh, uh, driven by the federal emergency management uh, team and uh, we're, we're glad to be part of it. We're loading out about three barges a week that we load out, pretty much seven days a week, 10 hours a day. Some are steel, some are concrete, some are wood, and some weigh 10,000 pounds. The poles needed to restore Puerto Rico's power network are shipping through Port Canaveral. 30,000 of them in all shipped between last month and the end of this coming January. A company called Crowley Logistics, contracted by FEMA, is organizing the effort. A lot of our employees were affected by the hurricane, so in a small way, along with helping the people of Puerto Rico, I'm helping fellow Crowley employees. Today's effort gives you an idea of the size of the job, the vast job it'll be to rebuild Puerto Rico. Even now, three months after Hurricane Maria's 155 mile an hour winds, power on the island is only 70% restored. Every new pole means a little more progress. At Port Canaveral, Dan Billow, WASH 2 News.